With cereal crops often delivering the biggest bang to the bottom line, it is little wonder that Western Australian grain growers are looking to plant them more often. But yields and returns have been found to decline over time when farmers sow back-to-back -back wheat crops. We found that cereals after lupins were very good, cereals after uh, canola were good, and uh, cereals after cereals dropped away after some time. And profitability was obviously highest in all the cereal phases, and the more cereals you had in there, often the higher the profit levels until the yields dropped away. So we were trying to work out what are the agronomic factors causing the yields to drop away in cereals after cereals. Wickerpen grain grower Gary Lang is hoping the problem will be solved by a new series of paddock scale rotation trials being conducted by Western Australia's FACI group. Uh, so this year we'll have uh, paddock scale trials of wheat sown across lupin stubbles, canola, wheat on wheat and wheat on a fallow. And we'll be using the uh, paddock scale trials to measure things like soil, predictor B tests, soil nematodes, root diseases at, 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 at uh, springtime. We'll uh, measure all the soil factors of nitrogen and uh, those sort of things um, to try and determine what are the key factors in causing the differences in yield that we saw in the small scale trials. The paddock trials are an extension of the long term but small scale rotations for profit project which the FACI group began in 2004 with the support of the Grains Research and Development Corporation, a project which has already delivered practice change at farm level. I have been growing barley on barley, which was very profitable in the early days of that trial until it ran out of steam after about five years of barley on barley. So I've certainly applied that at home. It's reinforced my view of the economics of uh, lupin rotation, so I still do that on the farm. Mr Lang plans to continue hosting trials like these on his property, not just to enhance his farming knowledge and business profitability, but to satisfy a passion for scientific research. Uh, science in farming is, um, is a real passion of mine. Um, I love the science of it, I love science at school, I, you know, and this farming these days is just applied science and a bit of business principles. So uh, yeah, that's my passion, I just love doing it. I, probably spend more time doing those sort of things than I uh, could economically justify, but it's a, a passion and a hobby, I guess, as well as a business.